Hello, hi, my name is Precious. I am coming to you on YouTube today. Today is Trash Talking Thursdays. So today, the product that I will be talking about is an alligator clip. It is a clip for your phone. You're supposed to install it into the car. So right now I'm in my car and I got this product um, to review. So what I'm going to do is pretty much follow the instructions as in the back. It comes in a small little box like this. Doesn't hurt to have a box this size. It shows you how it's supposed to look. Um, and pretty much I got this from um, a website and I'm going to try this product out. So what I'm going to do is switch around the camera and show you the steps that I'm going to do in order to install it. This is the area that I'm going to be installing it. Just give me a second and... Okay, now I'm back. All right, so I set up my camera so that way it can view and see what I'm doing. Now the instructions clearly say on the back use the alcohol wipe to clean clean to thoroughly clean the application area on the dashboard so i'm going to open up this box this is as you can see the first time i'm opening it and pull out the contents that's in there so far we have the clip nothing else in the box okay so i'll leave the box right there and you have the clip you have this thing a jiggy. I'm guessing this is a sticker. It'll let me know as I go. Um, the alcohol wipe, which is nice that they actually pack it in here for you, so you don't have to search for it. And the clip for your phone. All right. So it does it. It feels nice, nice and leathery. Um, it stretches, as you can see, it stretches nice open so it all depends on the size of your phone it should work um, just fine and it has this nice little clear area back here which I'm believing the adhesive which is this is going to go on here so it says wipe it do not mount on leather so if you got leather in your car people um, and up here in this area is leather you might not want to do that um, so I open it up, taking open this alcohol wipe, and I'm just going to clean this area right here. I'm just going to clean it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit OCD, so I'm going to clean it like three times before I actually get it clean. And then being I touched the back of this with my fingerprints, I'm just going to clean that also. Right there, like that. Yeah. It makes no sense to, like, leave it with all the fingerprints, right? Especially if it came out the box clean and they want me to clean the surface clean. All right. So, and then it says peel, number two. It says peel the gel protective sleeve or film and align mount above dashboard. Apply firmly, pressing down. Um, three to four times to ensure uh, secure adhesive okay so I'm gonna peel one side off so that way I don't touch the whole thing and put it down here like this so I'll put it right in the middle right and then I got this other side I'm gonna peel the thing off of which is not being very friendly. I think it should have like a um a area that you can be able to like say peel here kind of dummy thingy. I know it's, I I'm I'm not meaning like dumb, but I'm just saying like at least make it a little bit more easy so it could lift like as like a little nip so it could lift off of there like that. Um but since it doesn't have that, I'm going to have to work with what I got. All right, so I have the adhesive on here, and now I'm putting the clip on it, and I'm pressing down, pressing down on it, and 
says I pressed down like four or five times just to make sure I'm like a bit overdoer. So you go like that up. Well, I pulled it up. It can move. So that's kind of a I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. But I push it down. It doesn't seem like it moves. All right. All right. All right. Um, unfortunately, I do not have my husband's phone with me, so I'm going to use their box. It's about a decent size of uh, my phone, you know. So, and then um, apply to the dry dashboard. So the dashboard was dry, of course. And then um, pretty much it should be done. So I'm going to take this and just fold it back up together. Right? And use it in here. Okay, that really didn't stay still. Let's try it again. Now, I want to see how this works with me driving because this is a box. So, with me using this box, it's staying. But the thing is, is that what happens if I put my phone here and it's like really not sticking to the thing. It's really, it's not doing it no more. I don't, I don't know. So if I like supposed to get my phone out of there, I gotta lift the whole thing up and then put it back down and then hope that it doesn't move when I'm driving. Like that's not kind of safe because then my phone could end up out the window. Um, all right, let's try this again. I push it down like three times. And then I'm putting this here. It lifts up again. The good thing is, is that it has the space durable for the phone. If I had my phone here. Um, my only problem is, is that it doesn't stay. I guess it's because it's that first time I peeled it up. But it doesn't stay. Look. It's coming right off. Like, I'm not even moving. I'm not even really touching it. I'm pushing it down. Right? it down and I'm gonna pretend like this is my phone to take this off of here right all right that comes out because it wasn't really like clipped into these uh, dividers that is here but I'm just saying like suppose I had my phone in here okay well I'm gonna use my actual phone right now so yes you're gonna see me I'm going to put my hands a little bit not over the screen. So I'm going to put it. It came off again. It came off again. Keeps on coming off. Um, all right. Put my phone. Nope. It's not going to work. My phone is like huge. 